Shalom and welcome to the first video in maybe six months. We're going to find out uh, why the fuck so many buses come from Liverpool to North Wales and whether uh, or not, whether or not, uh, you should get on one of them or uh, whether Flinch is shit. Let's go. It's a 90 mile journey and it's probably going to take all day because we're in the, in the mini. It's Hulking Mountain isn't it? I mean it's not, I've never been here before. What is that really? What we're looking at here is post industrial You've got a view of Liverpool. This way. What's the point? The main attraction if, is is a rock. And should we, should we just head off? Right. Okay. very nice. The view from the other side of Hulker Mountain is actually over onto the Floydian Range. The point that Flincher has uh, shown us is shit. We've arrived. We've arrived. At, uh, it's very nice. I really like the Brentford bit. To be fair, I think I've been once because I wanted to break into the ho the hospital thing. You know the old hospital. You know the abandoned thing when you come past and you go past Shell on the way down and it's on the left. That abandoned building is an old hospital. And my mum and I found a, a way in. I mean, you well, we can park here and walk up if you want. Right, but we know where we are now and we're going down into the bottom road. For now we'll get food. Sexy. Let's run out really suspiciously. Oh, what a beautiful day. So we've got our food now. We're heading to Talacra. But the, the issue is that, that we found so far is that Flincher does not signpost the, the exits very well at all whatsoever. Boisterous. None of 
drivers were really paying too much attention on to you know our, our braking when going down hills uh, me in particular and we were at the top of the Gronent Hill which is quite high above sea level and we had a mile until we got to Gronent we knew that we had to go down I think 400 feet so I thought to myself you know how far can I go without braking and I and I got very far and then I went around this one bend and the earth the, the ground beneath me the road just uh, gave up essentially I slipped off my bike I, I uh, may have slid uh, anywhere between 10 and 20 meters. Um, I broke my wrist, uh, which had been mangled. Uh, my left hand um, was shredded, as was uh, my right arm. It's something that really sticks out in my history because If you look at my wrist, uh, I have a very large scar as I got a metal implant. I've never been there uh, since it happened two years ago. But these roads do look familiar. They look too familiar. Pulling over. I think you know where we are. I've just been doing a piece to camera now about the story. Um, if we felt like a farmer's truck up there, would we, would we have passed it by now? I think we've already gone past it, to be honest. Um, Is this story time about your wrist? Yeah. This machine. Woo! Run around it like. There we go. <laughs> That'll do. in this very rural part of Gronent or wherever the hell I am then uh, feel free to sit by the side of the road and play the guitar There. Hey Jay, by the way. Going around the corner that it happened, most definitely this corner.
Okay, so <clears throat> if you do come to Flintshire, expect traffic and a lot of it. Flintshire's trying to get the oldest running lamp going here. We're now leaving to Lankara, um, where we stopped for our lunch. Um, to be honest, we don't actually know like, where we're going now. Um, like, I have a vague idea how to get back on the path, but <clears throat> it is now a guessing game. Uh, anyone's guessing game, but we're just going to make this up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 